Hi everyone, it's Ernest from Back to Basics. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at doing crack key on a bigger scale than we've done before. You've seen in the past how I've done crack key lettuce in um, peanut butter containers. Well, today we're going to step it up a notch and do it in a 27 gallon tote. So stay tuned. Thanks. Now the first step in my process that I'm using is I start off my peppers in an aero garden. As you can see, these peppers here are approximately three weeks old now and they're getting to the point where I want them out of here and I'm going to put them into my peanut butter container as an interim step to the 27 gallon tote. These ones are ready to go. I'm going to show you what I've done with one already. To show you how well they progressed um, once I moved them to my peanut butter container crack key setups. This plant was in the arrow garden three weeks ago. So you can see how moving from the crack key into the greenhouse and into this small container um, has progressed in just uh, a three, maybe three and a half week uh, time period. So total this plant is probably five or six weeks old now. So it just shows you how incredible uh, using the crack key method is. Now this is the plant that I'm going to be moving into a uh, another setup which I'd like to show you now. This is a 107 liter tote which I believe equates to about 27 gallons for our US friends and um, I'm going to place one pepper in here the one that I showed you from the peanut butter container and uh, have it grow as a crack key setup in the greenhouse for the duration of the summer. Now I don't lay, lay claim to this method. This was something that I saw uh, one of our pepper lover community uh, favorites, uh, Matt Garver. Uh, he's kind of our king of crack key on the, on the site. Uh, he grew one pepper in a container this size last year which had a seven foot spread on it when it was done uh, harvesting. So I'm hoping to be able to duplicate his results this year. What I've done, I've already drilled a hole using a hole saw done in reverse so that you get a nice clean cut into here. And I have filled this up with water already. Let me get this off. So I've already filled this up approximately 18 gallons of water. And the reason I'm not going to go any further than this is I do want to make sure that the plant that I'm putting in here remains having a, uh, an air space for the roots which it's been used to from the peanut butter container. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at how much uh, root is on this, if you look at the bottom of my finger here, those uh, whiter roots are the air roots so they need to remain uh, above the water level inside this large Kratky system uh, in order to be able to get uh, the oxygen that it needs. For this particular setup, they're going to be using the General Hydroponics Maxi Grow, which is a 10 5 14, and uh, it calls for uh, one to two teaspoons per gallon. So that works out to, let's say, doing the math, yeah, six tablespoons. Uh, so I'm going to add that. And because this water came straight out of the hose uh, just 20 minutes ago, I mean, it's really cold. I'm going to just add the nutrient and let this sit overnight and let it equilibrate. And then in the morning, I'll test the pH, see if it needs to be pH down, and we'll put the plant in. Okay, that's been six tablespoons. Now we'll just give this a really good mix. And we'll be back tomorrow. I have now adjusted the pH of this water, 6.25, which will be just fine for my purposes. The um, Maxi Gross suggests between 5.5 and 6.5, so I'm going to be putting it uh, at this. So this is well enough. And there it is. So we'll come back periodically throughout this summer with updates on this plant to let you know how it's going. 
and uh, we'll take it from there. So, Peppers, Kratky, 27 gallon tote. Thanks again to Matt Garver for sharing all of his ideas with us in the Pepper Lover community. Let's see where this goes. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.